Hey guys, so this video is going to be showing you how to download the new Fish Show 1.7 update, which is without a doubt the biggest update I've made on this macro so far. And I'm actually very excited to release this one to you guys because there's quite a lot of added to this update. I'll show you a comparison between the two on screen so you can kind of see how big this update is. But some of them are customizable failsafe timings, custom keyboard support, which I'll explain later on in the video. And this is also going to be a pretty in-depth guide on what everything does as well as what and what not to do since quite a bit of you got confused on the last video. I'll throw some timestamps on screen so you can skip to whatever part of the video you want and let's get straight to it. Alright so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to autohockey.com. I'll have the link in my description and my discord server where you can ask any questions about the macro if you need any help setting it up, anything like that. So what you want to do next is click download and you want to download version 1.1 not 2.0. It's very important you download version 1.1. You want to click save you want to click this little folder icon up here. This will take you to your downloads folder. You want to double click it. It'll come up with a little pop-up. Click yes. And since you already have it installed, this button will say repair. But if you don't already, click this top button, cross it off, and you're all good. All right, so the next thing you want to go to is to my GitHub page. Link will be in the description and Discord server once again. And then you want to make your way down to the releases. This should say 1.7, but just to make it a bit easier for myself, I'm going to update it after I've made the video. So you want to download the .zip file, you want to click save, you want to click this little folder icon once again, this will take you to your downloads folder. You want to right click, click extract all, extract once again, and I'll just swap it out quickly. And this is Fish Soul 1.7. As you probably see, there is a thing coming soon, but that's only because I didn't want to hold you guys up for a long wait for an update. But this will be coming in 1.8, which is nearly done actually. But this might look a bit confusing or a bit intimidating to some people with all these new buttons and everything. But I promise you, it's very simple once you learn it all. And I'll show you how to use more now. Alright, so now that we're in the game, I can finally tell you what all these new buttons do. So, if we go to the macro. The first thing you probably realize is this A30 par thing. Now for people who use normal keyboards and don't know what this is, we usually use something called a QWERTY keyboard, where the layout is like WASD and everything. But some people like to change around their keyboards and have it set to a different thing. So we added a little toggle for that, so the par thing works for them. And if we go to the MISC tab, this is where most of the new buttons are added. So an auto rejoin failsafe is Sometimes you get a bug, I haven't seen it often actually, only a couple of people have gotten this. But sometimes when you're fishing, Souls lags you out and it keeps you on this exit button. So you can't unclick it, you can't reset to fix it. The only way to fix it is by rejoining. So I thought I'd add a rejoin failsafe like I said on the 1.6 showcase. Now what I've added for... Where is it? There we go. So what I've added for fishing failsafe and pathing failsafe, you can actually customize these timers. So say you wanted the pathing failsafe to start running in two minutes. You set this to 120 and you know it'll run the fishing failsafe four times because it's set to 30 seconds before it starts trying the pathing failsafe. You can also do this for the fishing failsafe obviously. But the next button is an auto one equip. So say you you know you're on a lower end device like a laptop or anything. As soon as you start the path thing, you know, walk back to spawn, it'll open up your inventory, say I rolled like a celestial or something, I'll be at spawn, and it'll click my auras, you know, unequip it, and then start pathing again. Because some people, like, their FPS drops massively when they have an aura on, so it'll do the pathing, path do everything like normal, and hopefully that's not a problem anymore. Now the next thing is actually an advanced fishing detection. This is probably what I'm most excited for for the 1.8 update, but basically what it does is it clicks before the fishing minigame leaves the fishing range. So for people on like lower end devices and everything that have live PS or input delays or everything, you know, they'd see that it takes a long time for it to actually click and they'd spend more time outside of the fishing range than actually in and they'd miss a lot of their fish. Now this won't be a problem for the future update because it clicks before it actually leaves the fishing range and it keeps on the fish the whole time. Now I'm actually just going to be fine tuning this before I release it just to make sure it's perfect for you guys. I don't want to release a bugged update. Alright, just before the video ends I just want to clear up some things that some people were confused about before because I didn't really go through you know, how to properly use it apart from what the macro does. So I'm just going to rapid fire through these quickly. 
you want to use English with no custom fonts, you want to start at a fishing spot, preferably that one over there where the macro walks to, you want to use 100% scaling in Windows settings, you want to make sure your resolution is compatible with the macro because some people had custom resolutions and didn't quite um, realize why they weren't working and make sure you're set to the right pathing mode. Some people had VIP and they were using non-VIP mode not realizing that it was the wrong one and yeah that's basically all there is to this update and I'll see you guys in the next one.